Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Git tutorial, we are going to learn how you can create your first repository or Git repository and then commit your code within that particular local repository. So I'll take a couple of scenarios basically to give you more perspective of why you use Git and how you use Git in the practical scenarios. So there are two instances that could happen when you are joining as a tester into an organization or a developer into an organization. You are an architect, you are the first person within the team that is joining the team. So that's the first scenario. And you are the person who is starting the project from scratch. So you have the development environment ID, you start working or you create a Java project. Say, for example, if you are developing an application in Java or writing your test cases in Selenium with Java. So you start your project from the ID and you create the project. Now, when you create a project into the Java development ID or Eclipse, basically what it is, it is is it creates the folder structure within your local machine right so same thing happens for say for example you are doing with any other id so selenium with python and i'm using pycharm for this particular git tutorial so i'll be creating the project in pycharm so what that creation of project does is it will create a folder so that's the first instance it creates the folder into the local machine where all my code that i'll be writing will be stored and this is local right this is in your local machine this is the first instance now this local folder or instance or project is not tracked at all it is basically not version controlled so whatever changes you are doing into that particular project are being overwritten and not being version controlled if you are not if you haven't initialized the version control and that's where git comes in picture the second scenario is there is already a project going on into a organization and you join as a part of the project so all of the git setup bitbucket or github setup is already there you have the branches and you join as a team and then you have to pull the code that is there into the repository and then start working and then keep committing the work that you are doing or the assigned work that you have been done so these are the two very high level scenarios that you could face when you start the project so i'll start with the first scenario say for example i'm the person i go as a test architect into an organization and then i basically start to write or develop the framework what i'll do is i'll install the pycharm and then after installing the ide so I, I'm taking an example of the Selenium with Python. So I'm doing with Python. If you're using Eclipse, you will be doing similar stuff, right? So I'll simply go to file, create a new project, right? And I'll say, I'll say git demo as the project name, right? And you'll see when I'll click on create a new project, you will see that all the IDs or development IDs will ask for the location where you want to create this particular project, right? So this is what the project name will be. And this is where this particular folder will get created. So I'll choose all the relevant details. I won't go into details of this Git tutorial as of now, but yeah, I'll configure the interpreter in, in case of Java, in case of Python and then click on create. So as soon as I will create, I'll open it in new window so that we are in the complete new window here, right? So you'll see this particular Git hyphen demo project has been created. Make sure that you do not use any special characters, things like that, because it is always good to have a follow convention basically so that it's easy for you to track all the files within the folder. Okay. So now here, if I simply just copy the path, right? I'll copy the absolute path and open this path, right? You will see that this folder has been created. And now when I will start developing or anyone in the team on their local computers will start developing some code, will start writing the code into the project, then those files will basically get stored into that particular folder right so let's quickly go ahead now this folder is being open here okay and in order to start with git so basically let's see what happens when we start with the git commands okay so it, to launch git basically we start with git bash because it's more of a linux style or a linux type commands so just right click in the folder where you want to launch the git bash and click on git bash here okay or simply you can you know change the location so say for example i'll close it i will start typing git bash okay i can start git bash here and then let me maximize the font size so to view and from here i can basically change the directory so what I can do is I can simply say CD and then you have to start with the backslash C drive, right? Sorry, forward slash C drive. And then within C drive, we have this Python Selenium folder, right? And then 
git temp okay so you have to make sure because this is more of a unique style so you have to make sure that you do not type in the windows type commands there right so this will change to this particular location right and now if i'll simply say git status okay now git status what this particular command does is it will recognize whether this is what, what's the status of this particular folder how many files are there whether they are tracked or not and you can see that this is not being recognized at all as a git repository okay so any folder on your machine right so whether you have created from the id development id or you have manually created by default those folders are not the git repository so you have to initialize first in order to make those folders the git repository so that any file that is there within that particular folder or any new code that you are developing within that folder gets tracked and basically tracked by the git so in order to create or initialize the git repository the command is git in it right that's the only thing you have to do within that folder so whichever folder you want to initialize as a git repository go to that project location and just run the command git in it right and you will see that it has initialized empty git repository and you will see dot git folder has been created right and this folder will be visible or invisible depending on the view options that have been set on your computer so if say for example you are not able to view this particular folder don't worry about that you can change the view of the files so just change the visibility of the hidden files and you will see that this dot git folder is available right internally it is it tracks all the files and repository so you do not need to see all the details within there as far as the next time you file fire the command git status it will not give you the error right so you'll see that this time it is basically giving me the proper message that i'm on the master branch right so we'll cover we'll discuss the branching strategies later and then there are no commits that have been made and you know untracked files right so all of that information now this is a repository and it has been recognized by the git status command okay now say for example now this is a repository now now once I go ahead and start developing, right? So now here I will start, say for example, writing the code. Okay. So I'll say git demo file and this is the python file okay so let me say for example create this particular file i won't do anything i'll simply you know you'll see as soon as i'll create this file in pycharm you'll see add file to git okay so do you want to add the following file to git here you can basically click on add but as of now i will cancel it because i do not want to add it and i want to show you how you can do all of that from the command line and understand the concepts okay so i have clicked on cancel okay now i'll say this is sample file okay just write anything text there there will be error but we don't care about those errors as of now okay now let me run the git status again okay now you will see that there are untracked file and this is what the message basically as soon as i created the file into the pycharm this is what pycharm wanted us to do because any file within this particular project when you add those to git so that it can track those files any changes within those files can't be tracked automatically within this git repository until you add those files for the tracking right and that's where you are getting the message now in order to add this particular file so that git can track the changes within this file what we need to do is we need to simply fire the command git add and the file name whichever file we want to add right so i want to add this particular file git hyphen demo hyphen file dot py okay so just hit enter and then we'll simply again check the status right you will see that there is a new file now the message is a bit different right so now it doesn't show that there are untracked file right so there is untracked file which is dot idea folder which we haven't added yet but this particular file dot py file is no more shown as the untracked file it is shown as the new file which we haven't committed at all right now similarly say for example i create the file manually now this file we created from the eclipse id now let's say i created a file any sort of file manually here okay go back to git bash and we'll say git status you will see that demo file has been recognized because this is a git repository when i type in the git status command it will see what all files are there how many are untracked and how many are being tracked and the changes within those files right so this is untracked file now within this particular file let me add this file as well okay so that it be, it's being tracked so to add the file i'll say git add demo file and it will be added 
again if i do git status you will see that two of the files have been changes uh, changes to be committed right so these are the files that i can commit now now if i go ahead and open this particular text file right let's write something here some text okay and see how git tracks okay and i'll run git status again you will see that it automatically recognizes the file has been modified right this particular file has been modified and not committed okay so there were two files initially when we added those files and as soon as you will do any sort of a changes in the file that we created directly from here or from this you'll see that demo file text has been picked up here as well or say for example i'll add another line here this is sample file two right and close and go to git bash git status you will see that both of the file are now being updated as as modified because we have added some content there okay so this is how you will be able to basically add the files for the tracking within the folder okay and then after you are done with say for example i'm done with the work today i have written some of the script i want to commit the changes right so until unless you commit the changes you the changes that you have done or the code that you have written won't be committed into the git repository right if you want to restore the file to to discard the changes that you have done you you can do this command git restore which we'll cover later okay so let's go ahead and commit our code for the first time in the local repository now please note that this is all local in my machine this is not github at all right so this is local repository local git repository on the machine and now i can commit in the local repository so to commit these files what i'll do is i need to first add these to the staging area right so in the previous tutorial i would uh, i have explained about the staging area so to add these to the staging area we have to use the command git add right so i can simply say git add and then demo file right and git add if you want to add individually then we'll simply say git add the name of the file right now once these files are added to the staging area let's say see the status right now you'll see that it is basically changes to be committed right message is there on the branch master now we can run the command git commit to commit these files to the git repository right so in order to do the commit the configuration that you have to do is to configure the username and password right so global username and password are required to do the commit so in order to configure the username and password what you have to do is you have to simply fire the command so we'll say git and then config right so we'll say git config and global user dot name right and provide the username right so for me we'll say ishwarma and for the email not the password sorry the email right so username and email is required in the email i'll say rcv tutorials at gmail.com okay and to see that these configurations have been successfully done you will simply fire the command git config global list right you will see that username and email has been configured for myself so that i can now go ahead and fire the commit command okay because sometimes if you start with the commit command directly you might get this error so in that particular case if you are getting the error then simply set the username and the email okay it's good to configure these up front but in case you forgot to configure these up front and during the commit command so say for example now i want to see the status these two are files are in the staging environment that i can commit so now i can simply say git commit hyphen m and this is the commit command so git hyphen uh, git space commit hyphen m and then your comment for the commit so i'll simply say first commit so say for example you haven't set this username and email in the first instance and you are trying to fire this command you might get the error that global config is not being configured in that case just go ahead and follow these two commands to basically set up your username and password and then come back and fire the commit message okay so i'll say enter and you will see that two files change three insertions one deletion right so commit has been successful all right now let's go ahead and do some changes here in this particular text file come back to git bash and we'll say git status right you will see that this file has got modified okay now this file has been modified it has been detected by github uh, sorry 
it has been detected by git and now we can again because this is modified we can either restore to the original file or we can add it to the staging area and commit the changes that i have made right so this is basically what the overall life cycle will be during your development process whether you are doing automation or doing any sort of programming automation in itself is sort of a development work that you usually do in a project right so you will be following the same process that the developers follow in order to commit their code into the repositories so now i can again say git add and then demo file i've added it into the staging area so if you'll say git status you will see that it has changed to green now right and now i can commit it so i can say git commit hyphen m and this time i'll say second commit right and you'll see that one file changed insertion and deletion right so this is how the commit will or you can commit your code into the local repository using now the other important thing is so i have been adding these files one by one right so there is a command git add and if you'll say the wildcard star, so say for example, I change something here. Okay, so let me change something here. And then I added something here as well. Okay, and I'll say git status. You'll see both of them modified, but I want to add all the modified files that are there, right? So I can simply say git add and then star, and it will add all the modified files that have been modified into the staging area okay so just use the wild card and that will be very helpful and now i can commit and i'll say third commit and you'll see two files have been committed okay so this is a brief about how you can basically start your work within any project if you are starting fresh into a team how you will create a project and then initialize your project or the folder as a git repository then how you can add the files that are there within the git repository into the staging environment and from staging environment how you can commit those files into the local git repository please understand that git repository is local and will cover github pushing this same code into the github repository in the upcoming tutorial right so we have we need to sign up for the github account which we'll cover in next tutorial and then we'll see how you can push this same code into the github repository after we sign up so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching